Globally, there's a huge problem in terms of fisheries sustainability. So we've got a, a global population of human beings, which is going to get to over 9 billion people in the next 20 or so years. So a huge explosion in the human population. That's going to result in a massive increase in demand for seafood. Extra demand is going to put increasing pressure on fish stocks around the world. We know that the European lobster is a vulnerable stock. So stocks of European lobster in Norway and in other Scandinavian countries and in other countries around Europe have actually collapsed. And many of those stocks have not recovered to this day. So it's a very vulnerable species. Looking into how we can improve the sustainability of that fishery is very, very important. Probably five, seven years ago, we couldn't even spell the word sustainability or provenance, let alone understand what it was. And now it's, it's, the, it's a prerequisite of dealing with any person that's interested in seafood, whether they be a, a, a mum with kids at home or, or a Michelin two-star, three-star chef. 80% of the fishing boats in this country are under 10 metres long and they only catch 8% of the fish and they tend to use static gear and they go out on a daily basis. And there's a great sustainable fishing model there. So that needs to be encouraged and supported and one of the problems those fishermen face is that they're in a market that's a mass market. Their fish often go on the same auction slab as those from the mass market. I think down in Cornwall we're, we're, we're really lucky. We've got a diverse fishery and being the centre, the epicentre of excellence of, of, of fishery in England, we've been very proactive and we've got a great sustainable fishery that's, that's almost in most, in every area, reached a plateau where we are self-sustaining. I think raising awareness of sustainability issues at every level within the industry is really, really important. It's not just the people who catch the fish, it's the people who process it, the people who wholesale it, the people who retail it, and very importantly, the people who consume it. If you eat fish, you're in on it. And what you can do as a consumer is, when you go to a fishmonger or when you go to a supermarket, make sure that the people who are selling it to you know where it comes from. That helps the small fishermen, and the small fishermen tend to be the sustainable fishermen. So there's plenty of things that you can do as a consumer to, to help out. The reason that I think the lobster hatchery is, is such an exciting prospect is that they are understanding how we as uh, an industry can influence and, and deliver sustainability. Because I think everybody wants to enjoy seafood, but they just don't want to be worried about the fact they're eating the last one. And I think that's what the lobster hatchery has so clearly delivered. The fact that it's okay to eat seafood, and specifically lobster, and you can be a part of that process as well. I think that's really exciting.